What is up, Super Fam? I am Sensei Finito, and this is Battery CEO. And welcome to another episode of Marvel Bros, where we cover all things Marvel and everything pop culture. Yep. And on today's episode of Marvel Bros, we're going to be covering Justice League Center Cut conf- confirmations, Nova's being confirmed, Black Panther 2 rumors, Ahsoka rumors, new Star Wars game, and more. Yes. Juiced. Um, but. Before we get into all that, please make sure to follow us on all of our social medias at Marlboros23 um, on our Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And don't forget our YouTube channel where we're also posting our stuff regularly. Yes, and also we are live right now on our website, www.marvelbros.com, and you can also join our Discord in the top right-hand corner. You can get some Marvel Bros merchandise as well as donate, and with all proceeds going to what we do here and making it a lot better. And also, all of Marvel Bros pop culture news updates are now available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and Google Podcasts, so you can also check out our Marvel Bros episodes on all of our po- on all podcasts platforms now which is i think is pretty awesome so battery what, what do we got going on today man all right so starting the night off Zack snyder has confirmed a four-hour runtime for justice league snyder cut on hbo max this is huge <laughs> this is, this is huge. huge with that said it is a little co- a little complex because like initially you know we we're hearing oh we're gonna get episodes mm-hmm. um cut into hour increments or hour and a half increments but now yeah. For whatever reason, it's just a four hour, four hour movie, which I'm fine with. I enjoy I mean, long but movies. Check this but... out. It's going to be at home. So you're going to be able to pause yeah. it as you go as well. So you can do two hour yeah. increments if you want, or you can just bust the whole thing out in four hours. And this is something that we were talking about for a while now because of these rumors mm-hmm. that we've had. And I think this is, I think this is amazing. I would rather have had it as like one full solid four hour movie so we could yeah. really take it all in. You know what I mean? Because once it becomes like an episode thing, then you have to yeah. end it all dramatically and then start, you know what I mean? <laughs> then you got to go do a lot more stuff that's unneeded. So I think Definitely. this is awesome. I think this is amazing. How do you feel about it though? You know, I'm pumped. I wish I could see it in theaters, man. You know, I loved watching Man of Steel in theaters. I loved watching Batman v Superman in theaters. Yeah. Uh, granted, obviously that, you know, it's not at the Those same level. I, I loved... <laughs> uh, i remember watching justice league in theaters you know just watching those movies in theaters is a cool experience you know yeah. but it just you know it is what it is um hopefully they, i hope they actually release it in theaters as well like if, when theaters come back you know like in, yeah. like regularly Man, available to be us. a lot of stuff that they're gonna have yeah. to release when theaters come out back out yeah. because uh we're missing a lot of stuff right? yeah there's a lot of good movies like we just watched greenland uh, I want to watch Songbird. There's a couple other movies I've been watching that mm. haven't been released in theaters, but they're mm. on, on on demand. And there's some really, really good stuff. Um, and if you guys haven't checked them out, we have our reviews of certain movies that are available to, for you to watch via on demand in our Discord. So go check those out. Those out yeah. if you're looking for something to watch. Definitely, that sounds that sounds smoothie. I haven't checked out. I checked out uh, one of your. Uh, reviews but i haven't checked out to the last one that you said uh song bird i think you said or something like that i, I don't think i i don't know what you said just now but i haven't I think read it that was... one yet. you said you Did said I... greenland and then another you said another one after that right i want to watch yeah songbirds oh, now you, said you want to watch songbird yeah i, okay. watch. I think okay. it's available to rent or buy for 15 dollars. i think mm. and then greenland unfortunately it's a really good movie it's 20 dollars to rent and it doesn't give you the option to buy it quite yet. So it's, it's, oh, I, okay. I don't know. For most people, it might not be good, but um, it's definitely worth the watch. Um, the last movie I put up there, I think might have been, I can't quite remember, to be honest with you. But um, uh, there's some good stuff there. Go check it out. <laughs> yeah, definitely <laughs> good stuff. Definitely. Um, but moving right along into our next thing that we have for you guys tonight, we have some new set photos from Spider Man. I don't believe this movie has a name yet, if I'm not mistaken. It's just Spider-Man yeah. 3 at this point. Check out Which I'm fine with. Oh, yeah. I'm not, I'm not even. Spider-Man oh, 3. Like, you know. Yeah, we don't need anything fancy, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> but here we see, um, I can't think of her name. You know her name. Uh, MJ. MJ. MJ, but I'm thinking of her real name. What is her full name? Zendaya. That's what her real name yeah. is. Right? Oh, okay. Yeah, isn't her name Zendaya? 
Yeah, I the think actress so. name. Yeah, yeah, her act. The actress's name is. Uh, oh yeah, what? Yeah. So we see Zendaya. <laughs> she's in this little place. See, maybe she has like a a job, a winter job or something like that. Is works in a bakery, like, work coffee a shop bakery. type place. It's obviously Christmas time. Um, Which is cool. We haven't. We don't have many. The last Christmas MCU movie I think we had was Iron Man three. Mm, okay. Um. So it's pretty cool to see Christmas, obviously. And I'm curious to see, like you were just mentioning, is mm. are, are we going to see COVID? Yes. Uh, in this movie. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Because you know? it's like you know if she, this time, like the time period is now. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean of these yeah. movies. So it's going to be really hard to you know, kind of get that saying, I don't know. I don't know how they're going to do it, but yeah. we'll see. <laughs> It'll be interesting. Uh, with this next deal, with this next set photo, though, we see Tom Holland just kind of going for a breezily walk. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like he's in front of that bakery, possibly, or leaving that Like bakery. on his way to the bakery, yeah. maybe. Maybe he has like a slip from Aunt May of some pies that he's supposed to get from the bakery. Yeah. You know, because he does, he does look like he's looking at that paper mm-hmm. and it's really important, so... And you know what's cool? Uh, in Sam Raimi's, I, I can't, I don't remember if I'm saying his last name right. Uh, but in his Spider-Man movies, MJ, she works in the diner, like bakery, similar to what we're seeing in this movie. Mm. Um, so it's a pretty cool, like correlation. That, um, I saw the other day. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. I didn't even uh, think about that correlation. Going into this next photo. Uh, it seems like we are just seeing. Uh, whoa, wait. This is the same thing. Hold on, my bad. Going into this next photo, I don't know what this is. Like maybe one of those, like those, uh, you know, those boards that you can post. You know. Uh, Did you see? So, like, obviously, we see Mysterio saying, mm-hmm. "I believe," meaning yeah. they believe in what he was saying. We also see um, a couple other me. stuff that oh, might. Lord. I think there's another one. Uh, A lot of missing boards. So I'm assuming they're still posted here from Endgame. Hmm. It seems like that's a type of uh, neighborhood watch type group, maybe? Mm Because it says citizens to defend Spidey. If you see the Mm -hmm. red red one right here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, There's two. So it's cut off on one side, and then it mm. continues on the other side. So I don't know what that has to do with anything. Uh, so the community, trying... the community is split. So some people believe that he's guilty. Some people believe that he's innocent. I mean, think so... about it. To me, when with the revelation of it being Peter Parker, you know, you have the people like that corner store owner from far from home. Uh, that is not the far from home. It's a home. What's the first one? Far from home. Homecoming. No, uh, homecoming. Homecoming, yeah. So, like, you know, you have that, the, the the store owner who definitely knows Peter Parker. He's in there all the time, you know? Mm-hmm. So if if they're saying it's Peter, he's going to be like, there's no way that Peter is a bad guy. You know yeah. what I mean? If Peter is Spider-Man. Spider-Man saved my life from the restaurant. You know, you're going to have this type of thing where it will obviously be a tie in the community, community mm-hmm. of people who love Spider-Man I mean, people who hate Spider Man and the people who love Peter Parker. You know what I yep. mean? So that that may I can see that. Um, here comes another part of that newsstand. Mm-hmm. So see Cyber. that I believe poster more. Mm-hmm. We see we see some more missing posters. So again, I think these are all like reminiscent of the snap, um, mm-hmm. possibly. Cyber. Cyberlicious in stores now. I don't know what that has to do with anything. Hmm. What's that sale poster? Is that like just for a po- random product or? Yeah, I think so. Let's see. Let's zoom in on that a little bit. Hmm. What does that say? Bubbies? Is like bubbies or something like that. Free freedom? What is yeah, what's up with that? Free that freedom. Mean? We see what does this say? Uh okay, missing Brian and Maddie Flynn. So there's two people missing. It's not just one person. I mm-hmm. think it's a brother and sister duo. Hmm. Sure interesting. Listen to. Yeah. So that's very interesting. Let's continue okay. on to our next photo. 
Um, we, we just kind of see Tom Holland. <laughs> yep, Tom Holland wearing masks. And I'm curious to see if this is like behind the in camera. The, yeah, is or this, in front of it? You know, that's what I'm saying. Like, are they going to be wearing masks? Like, are we gonna like that? Would be a cool thing to incorporate as well. Like you were also saying, you know, maybe they have Avengers masks, mm-hmm. Spider Man masks. You know, this would be stuff that like they can just kind of incorporate into it as you know merchandise or something. Yeah, make it a little more relatable. Um, a little bit more relatable, and also you know. Selling your monies at the same time, <laughs> getting your monies. <laughs> um, here's a here's a actually wide angle view of that same picture, mm, like uh, some sort of stunt going on in front of them too. Mm, mm. And look at you see people with masks on, masks all on yeah, yeah. So, so once again, I don't know if that's just like the cast and crew or mm. what. Like how to? I don't know if they're gonna go out of their way to pay for extras that don't mm. wear masks, you know, and kind of. Yeah block off the street from other i don't know i mean it's something that they'll they probably have done before for other types mm-hmm. of scenes so it's not too far-fetched with that said marvel studios does a pretty good job of like using just green screen so with that mm-hmm. said i know they're filming practical stuff right now in wherever this is i don't know if it's brooklyn um or uh somewhere else so uh that's something to think about as well that's awesome Another picture we have right here with uh, Spider Man. That looks like a straight out of the movie, ready to go like that. Yeah. It's That's so cool that the suit looks so good in person. For um, real, not a whole lot in terms of editing, but that looks really so good. needed. Yeah, yeah. Uh, other than for like the the stuff that he's doing, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, other than that, that's a that's a Spider Man suit that looks like I could buy for like five hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? <laughs> and uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, and really be Spider Man. You know, yeah. not <laughs> not no uh, no bootleg Spider Man. <laughs> Suits looking nice. I believe this is the suit. This doesn't. This kind of looks like a newer modified suit than the one that he actually had in Far I From think, Home. I think so. It's a little dark accent on his arm. I don't believe that was there before. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, going on to another picture with Spider-Man. Okay. Looks like he's just strolling off set, getting a couple snacks, maybe. <laughs> For real. It kind of gives me kind of the vibes of when he had uh, changed into his Spider-Man suit. Mm-hmm. And, you know, how he was kind of like stumbling afterwards. Yeah. That's the kind of vibes I'm getting from that. Like, he okay. kind of stumbling away, maybe. Um, yeah, and then those are all of the stills that we have for for that new Spider-Man movie, man. Yeah, and uh, with that said, uh, let us know what you guys think of uh, not only these stills, but what to expect for Spider-Man 3. Yeah. Um, I think it's pretty exciting, and uh, we have a lot to look forward to. There's been, you know, thousands mm-hmm. among thousands of rumors for this movie. Yeah. Rumors and confirmations of just what's to come, and it's all really amazing. And it's pretty like, wild. What a time to be alive as a Marvel fan. Oh, yeah. Um, with that said, moving forward, um, we have new stills from Space Jam, A New Legacy. That's it's been right. officially released. Um, they look pretty good. I mean, I, I can't say that I'm a huge fan of the first Space Jam, uh, but these stills look pretty cool. I like the way that the animated characters look in comparison with the live action stuff. I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, um, and especially if you've watched any of these other, not just uh, the first Space Jam, but uh, other movies like Who Killed, Ran- no, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, I think. Yeah, I think I watched uh, that one. That one is actually a really good movie. You know what I mean? Like different mm-hmm. movies like that, they have already made the way of it being okay to see animation in real life yeah. with each other. So I'm hoping this movie, especially because, you know, like in Remy, uh, Remy is a, you know, basketball fanatic. Uh, so mm-hmm. she was she was happy that she they chose LeBron James for this role. And I was also saying like the same thing. It's like you know, who could you choose? You yeah. know what I mean? Like, like, who else? Like, could you choose? There's not really another person that could fill that role for Michael Jordan. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Other than I mean, it's the only person that really gets brought up next to Kobe. You know what I mean? Kobe yeah. Uh, but you know, R.I.P. to to my man so it's uh it's really it's really amazing to see and i know this movie is going to be awesome 
How do you feel about this still? Look at Ro- look at uh look at Bugs I think in the it's background. Pretty cool. Man. Like just the colors <laughs> and the way they kind of blend it together, mm-hmm. I think work. Um, and then this picture may be kind of distorted for some of you guys because it's actually blown up uh from the original one. So yeah. Uh, but it for like when you see the original image and it's actual yeah. like it's a, it looks really good you know what I mean yeah. like it looks like they've already done their CGI and everything for it you know what I mean um, uh, let's go to the next picture that we have also which is a another great picture I really like this one with the colors yeah. and yeah who what other characters can we see? I mean, I mean, it's kind of hard to see, but I'm pretty sure that we're gonna have the main Looney Tunes roster, mm-hmm. and then I, if I'm not mistaken, in the original Space Jam, we saw some other basketball players other than you know Michael Jordan. So mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure we might see you know some other players yeah. in the movie uh, when they go and make their roster of mm-hmm. NBA players. I think which would be amazing to see. You know, we kind of got this NBA All Star team. Mm-hmm. Uh, and they're probably saving that, you know, for a little spice on it. You know what I mean? We mm-hmm. might see it in the trailer once we get closer to. Yeah. Plus, yeah. we have we have Captain Marvel, obviously, She's flying up in the air there. Um, <laughs> Captain Marvel, <laughs> <laughs> uh, like literally, like you showed that, like that. Oh, oh Captain Marvel. Yeah, uh, that's pretty literally. cool. Uh, <laughs> but I think it's gonna be a popular movie when it comes out. Um, I think it'll do really well. Um, I think this is one of the ones that are gonna be released on HBO Max. Yes, I believe it. I believe so the movies so that's something to look forward to yeah let us know how you feel about those set photos that we just looked at uh the spider-man set photos as well as the Mm -hmm. space jam 2 i think that was called space jam 2 i don't know if there's an actual uh, fish a different official name for it but let us Mm -hmm. know how you feel about a new legacy there you go new legacy yeah Yeah. let us know how you feel about those how do you feel about the pick of lebron james (laughs) remy commenton Dropping that, dropping those smiley faces and the basketball emojis. You know, <laughs> movie. Uh, we're probably going to be watching this day one. <laughs> It'll probably be a good watch. Yeah, um, but yeah, yo, that's a that's awesome. It's a, it's a great, great show. I mean, great first movie. I, I'm happy. To, I can't wait to see how they do this uh, prequel. But uh, moving right along. Um, oh, man, Wonder Man has been teased to possibly be in WandaVision. Um, and that is pretty awesome. You know, with the way uh-huh. the show is going, it's like, okay, how are they going to do Like, you know, like... Um, well, we actually have uh, Wonder Man in the MCU because he was supposed to be in guardians of the galaxy if i'm not mistaken Mm. but they had to cut the actual scenes and Mm. who plays him is nathan fillion i don't know if you Mm. know who he is uh he's the dude from castle and firefly oh yeah yeah yeah. Uh, yeah, so that's who actually plays wonder wonder man so we do Mm. have a wonder man in the mcu but we just haven't seen him for ourselves. I think it's in a deleted scene. Yeah. Um, you know what? Actually, let me see if I can find some pictures. So while I'm looking for these pictures, tell me how you feel about this, man. Because you know we've seen the Easter eggs of Wonder Man in the background uh, of so, the show in the beginning. With the, I, so this tease, little tease was featured from, well, there was like a little featurette like behind the scenes of like some of the writer directors talking about the, uh, talking about the series. In the back, there was like some blurred out posters of what looked like Wonder Man's like costume with the W and yeah. the red and the yellows. Um, I don't really know who Wonder Man is. Wonder Man is like I don't know what his powers are per se. Quick little breakdown. Let's see if. He's um, Come on. But it's always cool to see new characters coming into the MCU um, and seeing how they can add to the dynamic that we see in the Avengers. Um, whether he'll be an adventure, I don't know, or one of those characters that comes in and then dies immediately, you know, we'll never know. Yeah. Uh, but what, what does, I think it'll be cool. What, what this immediate initially, initially, is that the word? That yeah, what this initially made me think of was this how, like, the sword, thi- like, how it stands for sentient weapon or whatever, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And so in this new found universe or new found world of sword being in it, uh, he might be one of the people that's actually trapped within this universe that we see mm. Wanda having projected, and maybe we just haven't met him yet. 
yeah, uh, or something along the lines of that. I'm not sure. Um, okay. Let's see. Let's see. I'm trying to see if Wonder Man is in here. If they got a wizard, they got to have Wonder Man. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, they're going to do this like that? Oh, here we go. Wonder Man. All right. Real name, Simon Williams. Uh, he's an adventurer. He's based out of New York City. No surprise there. Uh, mm-hmm. He's six foot, 12, six foot, two inches. My bad. Um, his first appearance was Avengers number nine in October mm-hmm. 1964. Okay. So his powers, his body is composed of ionic energy, which provides enhanced strength, stamina, flight, and longevity, uh, virtual invulnerability, and freedom from the need to eat or even breathe. Wonder Man is virtually immortal as his ionic body will reform regardless of whatever injuries he's to say he sustains damn oh, wow he's so he's that's basically cool. superman that's op right there so let's let's read his a uh, little stuff right here uh born the wealthy inheritor of a family business simon williams ran the company into near bankruptcy and embezzled <laughs> funds to invest the criminal magia uh, nursing a grudge toward the competing Stark Industries and its champion, Iron Man, Williams underwent ionic energy treatments from Baron Zemo and the original Masters of Evil. As Wonder Man, he infiltrated the Avengers but refused to follow through on Zemo's scheme to destroy the team and mm-hmm. perished after aiding his Avengers teammates. Damn. The homicidal robot Ultron later copied Wonder Man's brain patterns to help program the android Vision. Yeah, so Vision's entire base, I think he's based off of Thor in the MCU, but in the Mm -hmm. actual comics, he's based off of Wonder Man. Um, So, uh, and then it says back to life. Believe dead, Wonder Man hibernated in an ionic coma until restored in a zombie-like state by his unstable brother, Eric the Grim Reaper. The resurrected Wonder Man returned to the Avengers, befriending the Beast and forging a close bond with Vision, whom he viewed as a brother due to their shared brain patterns. Wonder Man became a part-time actor and stuntman and also helped to establish the Avengers West Coast at this time, he realized he loved the Scarlet Witch, who had since married Vision. Damn. After the Vision's dismemberment and re- reassembly, Wonder Man refused to allow his brain patterns to be copied a second time, driving a wedge between him and the Scarlet Witch. Whoa. That's pretty intense, man. I got That gets intense. Like, what? And that's not even it. There's more. <laughs> There's more. <laughs> I'm trying uh, to think. Okay, so... Yeah, we know Grim Reaper, or at least the skeletal body of his like of that character is in one division. We know that through this animation intro. Um, how will they find him? I don't know. Maybe Sparky finds him like he does in the comics. Sparky mm-hmm. dies, um, bringing back said uh, Grim Reaper, and maybe Grim Reaper brings this dude back to life. I don't know. Yeah, because that, that's definitely possible. Um, that that was just wild, right there. That that, like that was like the right whole there. one division breakdown, right there. Possibly, like yeah, that's, for real. Uh, with that said, uh, I know one of the other theories that we talked about that a lot of other people are starting to talk about is uh, I had mentioned, yo, know, what if Wanda is the main villain yep. of this story, and like that's where they're where they're going. Like, there's not even Manifesto. It's just Wanda, and you know, and mm-hmm. so that'd be crazy. And that's actually I mean, wild. what it seems that what we're starting to see, man, mm-hmm. is that Wanda is going to be the main villain of Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness. That's kind of what I'm thinking is happening here. And possibly what we're seeing in WandaVision, which is going to, you know, accumulate to mm-hmm. Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness. I believe that in this movie is where we are going to get the No More Mutants line yeah. of the reality shift or whatever it may be. And then this is why we will have all these other superheroes from these different realities coming into this reality. Yeah. That's, that's kind of what I'm thinking, man. That'll so, be wild, man. 
I'm juiced. <laughs> I'm I, the least. I think Friday we'll be able to figure out what's going to be happening moving forward. Because uh, like we talked about in our review, which if you haven't seen it, go check it out. Um, spoilers, by the way. Uh, we uh, we talked about how the transition from the black and white to color, or mm. just reality and not reality, was very. Uh, What's the word? It was very upfront, so you could physically see and you could feel like there's been a drastic change in the tempo, the way the everything looks, and the way that everything was being told. It just feels different. So moving forward, I think we're going to be uh, it's going to get intense. Um, and like the, obviously with the way the last episode ended, the last 10, 15 minutes were insane. So they were uh, definitely insane. And that's kind of I hope I just man I want I, I need that thirty minutes to go to forty five. You know what I mean? It, like, it does feel short. It does feel short. If especially because we have what a five minute intro and then maybe a five minute outro, so really the episodes are only about twenty three minutes long. Yeah. So I feel like we're kind of robbed of some beautiful content, but at the same time, but at the same time, it still makes up for it in the end when you like get to see it. Everything. Does going on you know what i mean mm -hmm. it's like even though we're robbed kind of of content it's like we're not really robbed of anything because they stack so much on us in these wandavision episodes yeah. and it gets better and better each time yeah um with that said going into what we're just talking about mm -hmm. uh one division teases the grim reaper within the mcu uh yeah which obviously after reading Wonder Man's uh, intro plays huge implications. Um, and the same with Sparky. Sparky, which is a dog, and we know he's in WandaVision through the trailers, or at least we see an image of a doghouse that says Sparky. And that might have been Kevin Feige be like, yo, just put this in there, get a little creative, get the fans a little creative, you know, but we'll never use Sparky. You know, we never that might be the case. Yeah, uh, that's very possible. But if Sparky is involved and he actually finds the Grim Reaper like he does in the comics then I think we very well might see Wonder Man coming through that same uh, pattern like what you just said. Yeah, because even though I knew about Wonder Man, I was not aware that he is the Grim Reaper's brother. So Yeah, uh, that's well, an interesting fact. I didn't know they did. Yeah, that's a mind blowing. <laughs> and uh, that just even um, all the more reason to kind of throw him in the, in the mix of everything. You know yeah. what I mean? They could be the new brothers that just moved to town or something like yeah. that. You know what I'm saying? And then... Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, it seems just, I, I don't know, man. It just seems like there's, we have, only this week's episode will tell. I That's think all this I episode think. will kind of open, answer a lot of the questions that we might have. Um, if we get another episode, like one or two, it's going to be a little upsetting, you know? As, I'm going to be a little upset. Uh, but I do like the way they kind of handled uh, starting off slow and then all of a sudden moving really fast. Yes, uh, so I really like the pacing of the show. But I don't want another episode like that, you know. Yeah, me neither. It's time to it's time to get modern day. Yeah, it's like I want the episode to kind of start in like the seventies or the eighties or whatever yeah. the case may be. But we need to be kind of flying through it in this mm -hmm. next episode. So at least in the fifth episode, we can really be MCU now because that <sighs> because like I'm I'm fine with the last four episodes being like an MCU extravaganza and then like mm -hmm. the first five kind of putting like getting us ready for that because yeah. that's kind of the pace of a marvel movie when you kind of think about it you know yeah so once we go back and watch because you know we're going to go back and watch everything as a whole you know kind of binge watch it and then mm -hmm. being once it's binge watched it'll be able to be kind of accepted as a as a movie because yeah. they're kind of doing a a mtu phase with the show <laughs> i mm -hmm. guess you could say you know what i mean yeah. so it's like you can kind of think of episode one and two as phase one and mm -hmm. then episodes three and then what's next is four those will be like phase two and then five and six will be phase you know phase three and then six seven, and then the last last one yeah. you know what I mean? and so on so that's just a it's it it seems like it's gonna be awesome <laughs> mm -hmm. i think so too i know you're ready lots to look forward to lots to look forward to a lot to look forward to and here's just another thing to look forward to um kevin Fe kevin feige has confirmed <laughs> That Nova is definitely coming to the MCU. Um, and this comes as no surprise, 
really, because we had, I, I remember when we still had like our Marvel Bros group chat a while back, uh, I had sent the pictures of what he was supposed to look like, remember? Mm -hmm. And it was yeah. like, it was like very similar to the, the Nova uh, uniform that they mm -hmm. had. Yep. And now, and then they, we had him supposed to be in Avengers Endgame uh, uh, or Infinity War. It was one or the other. I think it was Infinity War he was supposed mm -hmm. to be in. And then he was supposed to take that role of the Incredible yeah. falling through the, the Sanctum. And man, so it's like, yes, like, but we just want him now. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's, he's big, powerful. How do you feel about him? So this is one thing I kind of really am upset about Infinity War. I really mm -hmm. wanted to see Thanos actually go to Nova, Nova, or the Nova Corps headquarters and steal the, the stone. Um, apparently, that was something that we were supposed to see, but it didn't end up happening. Um, I'm just gonna say real quick: Don't you think it's gonna be even better if we get a Nova movie and we see that happen? Though we see Thanos I think that's what they're gonna do. in the beginning mm -hmm. of his movie and like destroy it and everything, mm -hmm. and then we see him kind of like floating in space or something, mm -hmm. and then he just like goes freaking Captain Marvel in, in space. similar to what happens to Thor in Endgame, almost like when yes. he gets destroyed. Yeah. And he's just floating yeah. in space. Yeah, it's very similar, but no one finds mm -hmm. him. He just mm -hmm. goes Super Saiyan in space and just mm -hmm. starts like straight flying. Or the fact that he goes Super Saiyan and mm -hmm. like flip on Sword's radar. Yeah. And now like Captain Marvel goes and finds him. You know, like I think they have like an uh, endless amount of things that they could do with Maybe this. the Nova Corps survives somehow. Like, do you think they're all, all gone or do you think? Yeah. I think it would improve on his story because. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, because the power goes through all of them. Mm -hmm. So that's what, one thing that makes Nova so powerful is the fact that he's the last one left. Yeah. So he gets all of the power. You know, yeah. he can use everything. It's not dispersed throughout his entire people. Mm -hmm. And I just think that's going to make him... We need powerhouses. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's that's the state that we're at in Marvel. Yeah. Uh, everything else from here out, even ground-level threats... In the end, they're going to become powerhouses. You know what I mean? Like, we're getting Shang Chi in the Ten Rings. So if we're going with the Ten Rings, like how the Ten Rings really are supposed to be, mm -hmm. uh, those Ten Rings are like Infinity Stones. You know yeah. what I mean? So it, it's like we're gonna need powerhouses to deal with that. So you I'm know, down I'm down. The thing is, though, the Black Order was supposed to do that, but they were really toned down for the MCU. Which is unfortunate, you know. So I'm curious to see if they're going to have to do the same thing, yeah, moving forward, you know. Um, because like in the comics, like told down their powers, uh, to make it more uh balanced per se, I guess. Because the Black I Order in the comics, they're savages. Like they they kill and destroy. But everything. I think the very reason why they're amping up everything, mm -hmm. so they don't have to downplay anyone yeah. from here on out, like. Mm -hmm. You know, no matter how strong some people are, man, like getting punched in the face from Thanos, like that should like <laughs> that should like break your stuff. You know, a little, that, little wake up call. You know, yeah, you know, oh, uh, happened so fast. Yeah. Oh, what's up with the I just sneeze? Don't have to sneeze. Yeah, anymore. the homies, man. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> and we're just you know talking about some Marvel. You already know, talking about Nova right now. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Um, what, by the way, what are his powers per se? Is he just like? Captain Marvel, like you were saying, but utilizes all the Nova Ooh, power. I'm, I won't give a full breakdown for Nova. I'll just look at his powers so we okay. can just see what his powers are. Because I'm not, I'm not too familiar. The most familiar I'm with him is that uh, that he was made in Guardians of the Galaxy. Mm. Or kind of introduced, I guess you can say. Uh, uh, with the potential for Nova. The end credit scene in that movie. Ah, New Mutants is in here. Mm. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have to read that one day. Um, Nova, Nova. Here we go. Boom. Nova, real name Richard Ryder. Adventure mm -hmm. based New York City. First appearance, Nova number one, September 1976, as Frankie Ray. And uh, Fantastic Four, number 164, in November 1975. Okay. Um, so his powers. The first, Nova, and superhuman strength and durability and the power to fly at supersonic speed. 
The second Nova could manipulate cosmic energy as stellar flare. She could project stellar energy and had nearly total invulnerability, and she could, could survive unprotected in space. That doesn't really help too much. Um, okay. Wait, so there's more than one Nova? So it says the new Nova and then the other Nova. So there's two different stories right here. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, let me up. Uh, let's, wait, let me just see if there's more. No, it says mortally wounded, uh, a centurion's Nova Corps, the space militia of the alien Zandarians, mm-hmm. transferred his powers to student Richard Ryder as Nova. Ryder became a crime fighter on Earth, then later into space and became... Oh, okay. So Nova is Marvel's Green Lantern. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) My man said, I got my blunt ready. (laughs) I got my blunt and I'm ready, G. That was Adam Warlock. Yeah. Adam Warlock was the one that was created in uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. That was in Nova. Uh, Nova is very similar to... um, uh oh you back brother yeah i'm back i'm back, I'm back. Yeah, okay okay uh um De- devon was saying uh that was adam warlock that was created in guardians of the galaxy which it yeah was. and then this is this is nova it says nova the human rocket yeah. uh and then he he joined the new warriors um wait adam warlock and nova are the same or are they the same uh, or they're, they're, two, they're two different oh, okay okay so what i said was okay yeah, 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 so Nova, yeah, Nova is his own person, and then Adam Warlock is the one that was made by the Golden People. Okay. Um, okay. I, for some reason, I always thought that was Nova. For some reason, I don't know why. Mm, now this is uh this one is Nova. Mm-hmm. Yep. Because I remember they released the possible introduction for Nova in the MCU like mm-hmm. it was almost a year ago. It was a long time ago when it we was talked about super it. Super long ago when we talked. But, it was multiple years, mm-hmm. like, um, and then Kevin Boggy just confirmed it. Uh, that's what, last week, week and a half ago. Yeah, I believe so. It was about a week and a half ago. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, man, that's awesome. That's awesome, right there. Uh-huh. Uh, I, I'm juiced for Nova to come in. I hope he has his own movie, or maybe he shows up in the mm-hmm. Disney Plus show or something. I feel like uh, that's what they're gonna do. Maybe I don't know. Doctor I don't Strange, know. maybe. I know he's super powerful, man, and yeah. I don't want him to be, you know, lame yeah. <laughs> in the show, in the Disney Plus show. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That's a, because he's basically Captain Marvel. So I don't yeah. think Captain Marvel should have a TV show because she's not going to look dope. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's <laughs> it's kind of one of those things. But um, what do we got next, brother? All right. With that said, Ethan Hawke, a.k.a. Uh, Wait, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Nathan no, Hawk has been confirmed to be the main villain in Moon Knight. Um, I'm pretty excited, but like, I don't really know any of like the enemies that Moonlight kind of gets associated with. Yeah. Uh, with that said, I love sure. Ethan Hawk as an ca- actor. I think he's amazing. So I'm I'm always excited when anything with Ethan Hawk. I really am. Um, so I'm, I'm sure he'll do, I'm sure he'll kill it like a lot of the other roles that he's in. Yeah, that, what, about, what, what do you think? Uh, this is definitely a a cool. Uh, I, you know, I, I'm not. I'm not like, hey, yo, yeah, let's go. You know what I mean? Like, it's just <laughs> like it's cool. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm not too. I'm still not sure what's go what direction this show is even going yeah. in or anything. Mm-hmm. And I don't think we know who he's playing. We don't, we don't know a lot at all. Um, actually, just. Off of my this first Google that I did, it says here's how Ethan Hawke could look as MCU's Dracula. So I don't know if that's the direction they're trying to go. That's from we got this covered, so you know they're a little iffy. But oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I was like that's all I had to say. I was like oh yeah, that's uh... yeah. But yeah. but you know, I guess that could make some sense because. Mm-hmm. Uh, Moon Knight also is the first to introduce is it Wolf by Night? Yeah, Wolf um, by Night, who is also in um, Blade, right? Yes, possibly. And I think we even talked, and with Blade coming in, it wouldn't seem too far-fetched to see Dracula and the Wolf. Especially with Morbius coming in from some, yeah. you know what I mean? It would be a nice little 
mess. Yo, that'd be okay. Okay. I'm okay, down. We got this covered. So, yeah. you know, obviously you're a little fishy, but big fishy, not little. That <laughs> idea, uh, I wouldn't be too opposed to that. I think that's cool. Yeah, I think that would be, I think that would be pretty, you know, pretty dope. Uh, but like I said, I don't know who he's going to, we can't really make too much speculation on this because yeah. we're not really sure who he could be playing. We're not even sure about the plot points of this. We're yeah, not, we don't know anything. Backstory. We're not sure mm-hmm. if Moon Knight is already established in this series. We don't know what's going on. So, yeah. Uh, you know, this is this is a this is one of those announcements that just gives us a little bit of just another piece of a story, kind of yeah. like with uh, Oscar Isaac being cast as Moon Knight in the first place. So, yeah. Yeah. So now we know we know the hero and we know the antagonist. Just don't know what they you know what what anything is going to look like. <laughs> yeah. Or what the plot of anything is going to be. Um, mm-hmm. And we have the Moon Knight breakdowns before. We'll probably do. I'm, we'll probably do like a video breaking down all these new characters mm-hmm. that are going to be coming to Disney Plus. Uh, yeah. So you guys will be able to be all caught up on what's mm-hmm. going on and who these characters are, so you're not all confused and whatnot. Um, but before we knew we move into this next one, uh, please make sure you drop a like and a share on the stream because it helps out tremendously around here and if you haven't already make sure you check out www.marvelbros.com we're also live with this right now on there yep. and you can join our discord which is also in this description um of this video you can join our discord where we always have open conversations and discussions and we're also probably going to do a wandavision watch party midnight thing this week if you guys are if you know if, if you guys is down for that or if that sounds appealing to you make sure you join in and jump in that discord yeah. Um, and also, don't forget to follow us on all of our social medias at Marvel Bros. 23, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and our YouTube channel, where you could also watch all of our stuff and watch where we post regularly. Yes, sir. So moving on into this next announcement that we have, there is a rumor that Kristen Ritter, a.k.a. Jessica Jones from the next Netflix uh, uh, Marvel shows, is in talks. Yep. Join the cast of Disney Plus series She Hulk, making it a nice glue from all the different stuff that's going on from Marvel and making cool. it like a nice little cohesive thing. I yeah. think that sounds awesome, especially because uh, Jessica Jones is a private eye. If I'm mm-hmm. not. So, you know, private eyes and lawyers, they go real well together in most yeah. cases. And this is why we got Daredevil and Jessica Jones working together. So that's yep. awesome. I'm I'm down for that. I'm down for it. It sounds sounds amazing. Uh, how do you feel about this announcement, man? Did you watch the Jessica Jones show? I watched part of it. I didn't get a chance to. Play it. Um, well, I did enjoy what I watched, though. Um, it was a little hard for me to watch at the beginning. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Uh, with that said, her character was pretty awesome, especially when she kind of started to get associated with Luke Cage. Mm-hmm. Um, but. <laughs> Oh, they got associated. Yeah, they got associated pretty well. (laughs) Um, Associated the hell out of her. (laughs) We just found, we recently found out that Charlie Cox just finished filming for Spider-Man 3. Um, Whether he's going to be Daredevil, I don't know. Um, But um, if he is Daredevil, it would be... He has to. Yeah, I don't know who else he'd be, but... uh, I don't, I'm pretty sure she's going to be coming in as Jessica Jones. Because now... I think Marvel owns all those characters now. Yeah. Uh, um, I don't think they're no longer on Netflix anymore. Out, like I just found out recently, even the Netflix shows are cohesive to the MCU storyline. So mm-hmm. they are a part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, even though they're a Netflix property. So yeah. storylines and all of that stuff from those shows still matters very much so oh, yeah. in the line of what it is in the MCU. So we could see that, you know, I think it would be a amazing thing for Disney Plus to take mm-hmm. over the vendors. I think that would be freaking amazing, bro. That'd be like, really cool. For a Defender show, oh my goodness. And then, oh, yeah, I think that would be impeccable. Mm-hmm. Um, Netflix did a really good job with all of the Netflix, with all of the Marvel heroes, but uh, no one does Marvel like Marvel. You know what I mean? Yep. So, I think that would be an amazing thing to see, and I'm really happy about this rumor, and I hope it comes true. Yep. Um, moving forward, this one's huge. I freaked out um, because we were just talking about this. Uh, Lorian, yeah. <laughs> Lorian. Uh, rumor: 
the Ahsoka plot has been revealed to follow the search for Ezra and through continuing the Star Wars Rebels story in live action. The series will also star Sabine Wren. The series will also will even lead to Ezra to an Ezra and Thrawn spin-off series. And this was all kind of talked about through people within the circle of Kessel Run transmissions. They're on YouTube. They're pretty awesome. Go check them out. Um, what do you think? This is huge. Bro, I think that I could cry from how amazing <laughs> because this is exactly what we wanted. You know what I mean? This mm-hmm. is exactly what we asked for when we saw Ahsoka, when we found out that she was looking for Admiral Thrawn in the last season of The Mandalorian. That's exactly what it, what came. And we also thought that who was Luke was going to be Ezra to come and find Baby. Yeah. So uh, it, it makes even more sense. You know what I mean? That's probably why mm-hmm. they chose not to choose Ezra. So so they could put him in something later on. Yeah. I am pumped for this, man, because Ezra is one of the only Jedis that has been trained in both the light and the dark side the of dark. the Force from the Jedi and Sith holocron. Yeah, so, next to Mace Windu, but yeah, this is next after. to Mace Windu. But yeah. I, mean, I don't think Mace Windu had the Sith holocron, though. I think he was. I just don't trained think he ever had the- of you know what I mean, like of both ways. I don't think he's never had the opportunity to even hold one. That's what I'm saying. So, like, Ezra is, like, on a whole nother level. And mm-hmm. if if he is still alive as well, that means he will be a Grand Master Jedi yeah. at that point type. Like, like kind of how Ahsoka was. You know, we saw Ahsoka, and she was with all of the function. She was yeah. a very powerful Jedi in, with, within herself uh, mm-hmm. when we saw her in The Mandalorian. So, seeing this uh, show break off into that, man, it's the implications are unfathomable. Mm-hmm. I know you had to have been going crazy when you saw this. Yo, you know, I don't. First, I would like to say that <laughs> no one knew, with the exception of the people that were in the Mandalorian, like the day of, that Luke Skywalker was going to be coming back. Matter of fact, really? Kathleen Kennedy was pissed, and she is. They're all pissed. All those people outside of like the, the of that set, um, like the director, they're all mad because they didn't really. They wrote what they're working on didn't coincide with Luke coming back. And even with, because like, you know how a lot of the Jedi and all the new comic like book and novel stuff just got released. They're yeah. also mad because they didn't prepare or know that Luke was coming back. So um, there's a huge divide in uh, between uh, John Favreau. Uh, what's the other dude's name? Uh, Dave Filoni. Dave Filoni. And Kathleen Kennedy and all the other people at Star Wars stuff. Uh, so why would they do that? Part of it is because they didn't want it leaked at all. Well, no. Part of it is because Kathleen Kennedy, I think, sees a threat to her throne per se. Um, a, a lot of people, a lot of people can say that her run as the lead person at Star Wars probably isn't the best mm. um, in terms of like what we've gotten, and for Filoni and for uh, Favreau. Favreau to come back and revitalize it the way they did with the yeah. Mandalorian. Without uh, even really having any Jedis in yeah. the Star Wars you know. Huge, because <laughs> Kathleen Kennedy and a lot of the other people thought the Mandalorian was dumb. They thought it was a terrible idea. Oh. And for it to come back the way it did, mm. I think is a huge spit in their face. Yeah, that's um, the best thing to happen in Star Wars since yeah. maybe forever. Like, yeah. It it literally takes a huge dump on the last trilogy that we that we just saw. Yeah, like, literally, does, like that trilogy is pretty much like nothing compared to the Mandalorian, bro. Yeah, and it's only been two seasons, so yeah. But I can see. That. <laughs> I'm excited. Um, I just hope that they continue to let John Favreau and uh, Filoni do their thing because if they don't. It's gonna suck. Yeah. So simple yeah. as that. Um, don't get WB'd, Filoni and uh, <laughs> John Favreau. Do your thing. Don't let nothing yeah. stop you. <laughs> yeah. For real. But I mean, that's not how Disney gets down, though. You know, we yeah. can clearly see that Disney knows know. from watching Kevin Feige and what he's he has done and created. You know, for the like, Star Wars in particular, though, I feel like it they have been kind of W 
Uh, no, but that's what I'm saying is like seeing what they have done with Marvel and mm -hmm. seeing how actually letting these different creators go through with what they see. What they want, and what they yeah. But just having them tweak a couple of things to fit the storyline of what mm -hmm. you're trying to do. I mean, that's the best way to do it. And that kind of seems like what they did with the Mandalorian. And it was yeah. kind of like a test run to see if they should do it with everything Star Wars. And mm -hmm. the test run went amazing. Baby Yoda is a pop culture icon. icon. Is R2-D2. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. And R2-D2 is like one of the biggest pop culture icons ever. And Baby Yoda is like literally right there next to him. Like mm -hmm. Baby Yoda might be a little bit higher than R2-D2 because of yeah. the wave that we have now. Mm -hmm. you know I mean? um, for us, it's still R2-D2, I'm pretty sure. But you know what I mean? For a lot mm -hmm. of people that are just coming in, it's going to be Baby Yoda. Like Baby, Baby Yoda. Yoda is the new wave. He he took he blew BB-8 out the water. You know what I'm saying? Like, like they tried to have BB-8 be that new person, but it wasn't happening. Like, yeah. like, like you're not replacing R2, mm -hmm. and they didn't replace R2. They brought a whole another like a whole new character into play with Baby Yoda, and it literally took over. So anything to come over with from Star Wars from here on out, it has to be at a Mandalorian standard. That's how we're gonna look at it. You know what yep. I mean? Um, it's very similar to how every time we see a superhero movie, it has to meet Marvel standards or it's mm -hmm. not going to be a good movie or it's not going to be, you know, a good superhero yeah. project. And that is what the Mandalorian did. It's like, here we are for star Wars. And if you are anywhere lower than that, we don't really want to watch it. Yes. So I would feel pretty threatened if I was her too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thinking like, wow, I thought they were going to fail. And then for them to come back and be bigger than me, holy crap. <laughs> Like my my integrity, my job is on the line now that. Um, but I hope they succeed, um, and I hope that Kathleen Kennedy gets to their level and uh, allows them to do what they need to do to make the best possible stuff for the fans. Yeah, definitely. But um, moving right along to some more amazing Star Wars news. This might be the best Star Wars news that I've heard. Uh, since uh, Jedi Fallen Order, but a mm. new open world Star Wars game is currently in development at Ubisoft. <sighs> what do you think this is going to be? Bruh, I don't know. Bruh, okay. We've had a couple games. Game yeah. that we had Old Republic. Uh, mm. And Old Republic was an amazing game. So mm. hopefully it's like Star Wars The New Republic or something like that. You know what I mean? I. I don't know where we would start off in the storyline of anything. I don't know how yeah. you make an open world Star Wars game. What does that yeah. mean? Does it mean we can go to different planets or are we constricted to one planet of things going yeah. on? Um, I'm juiced, man. This is awesome. Uh, Jedi Fallen Order is definitely not an open world game. Just so we could kind of get like a, a, you know, a level for what we know. Yeah. Like uh, Red Dead Redemption, Grand Theft Auto. Those are open world games. Um, mm -hmm. Marvel's Avengers, not open world. Uh, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, also not open world. So yeah. what, we're, what they're potentially saying is we're going to have, I don't know if you've ever heard of No Man's Sky, but we're going to yeah. have like a No Man's Sky, Grand Theft Auto, Star Wars game, like mixed together in one. And That'd I think be wild, that's man. freaking amazing. <laughs> um, okay, so for those of you who haven't played Jedi Fallen Order, that game is hard as shit. Hard. Um, as shit it I, is laura croft on steroids <laughs> yo like i i play difficult games on the hardest difficulties right and mm, i had it on the second hardest difficulty when i first started playing i was like oh it's kind of hard but you know it's not that bad then i get to dathomir and i get completely handed to me by a regular like thing like with just two hits i'm just like yeah what and it's like the dark souls of star wars so you have to channel your inner Jedi. Play yeah. that game. <laughs> like, oh, I'm gonna play for 30 more minutes, and then you're like, damn, I'm still in the same part it's two hours later. What the hell? Yeah. Um, it's a really tough game. So I'm curious to see if they're gonna kind of transfer over that uh toughness with this game. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't I don't think so. I don't know. A, an open world game with that's that tough. Yeah, with, I, 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 I don't, I'm just getting like I'm getting like Grand Theft Auto vibes from it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you'll be able to uh hold this is well, really what I want is Fallout. Yeah. I want Fallout Star Wars. Mm -hmm. Create your character. Um, you know, you're a Padawan, 
uh, you maybe you your master, maybe you get to choose your master or something like that. I don't know. You know what I mean? I don't know how how it would go, but you have a master. Yeah. Train to be a Jedi. Maybe you can even turn Sith or something and end up helping out the other side. I don't know if we're gonna get kind of a DC universe online, but Star yeah. Wars type of thing, you know, yeah. to where it's completely different and you can just talk to every character that's ever existed and it's not in in, in any cohesive uh con you know what I mean? Continuity, yeah. I guess the word would be, to where you can talk to Anakin and you can talk to Ahsoka and you can talk mm -hmm. to Luke Skywalker, have all these people kind of at the same time dealing with I don't I don't know, man. But I feel like no matter what it is, it's gonna be good. The only thing yeah. that has worried is ubisoft just a little bit but ubisoft does really good stuff with some of their games so yeah you know what i mean it's it, I, I don't know what do you think what do you think you can expect from this man what do you think we're going to be jedis i think that's the main question do you think you know, this game is going to be about jedis or about like mandalorian i don't know all i know is ubisoft does know how to make open world games we've seen it all, we've seen it time and time again with assassin's, assassin's creed watchdogs and all those other ones um, so I think they'll do just fine. Um, with that said, Ubisoft also has dropped the ball with like the latest Ghost Recon game. Um, they, there was some issues. They make updates for those issues and they make more issues. So it's like, yeah. uh, we do see some issues with Ubisoft here and then, but for the most part, they know how to make a fun game. So they just released a battle royale that like died within like months unfortunately it was really good that's game. right they did huh what was it called again uh, hyperscape it was a hyperscape, freaking yeah. amazing game too like i i was streaming that pretty often but it just it was integrated with twitch and mm -hmm. then that integration with twitch was actually kind of their biggest downfall because then yeah it made not as much people play the game because most people on twitch are trying to play games that are already popular to get a yeah. bigger you know what i mean so it was just kind of it kind of set them right here in their growth so hopefully with yeah. this game we don't see too much lameness from it i guess you could say i would yeah. i would really like i would really love to have some pv some new pvp star wars mm -hmm. Um, before we move into our next one, I just wanted to say real quick that Squadron is a really... I was, was going to ask you about that. Like, it is a really amazing game. Don't get me wrong. It took me a really long time to kind of get the hang of it because of how you play and how you thrust and the different movements and everything. But, bro, it is a really amazing game. Uh I'm I'm still in the trial, so I could only play so much of the storyline. But now I can go into multiplayer and, and whatnot, and that's what I'm about to start doing uh, probably sometime today, tonight. Uh, okay. And it's amazing. It's a really fun game. The controls are beautiful. Being able to divert power to your engines and all this other stuff is really awesome, bro. So I think cool. I think you should, I think you should check it out. It's worth it. I don't. Do you have the EA Access thing? Because it's I don't. I have oh, the Xbox okay. game. Okay, this isn't. I for this is something I didn't uh, talk about this week. But Xbox was going to raise the prices for their Xbox Gold for uh, six months to sixty five dollars. Whoa! I Meaning a year was going to cost you one hundred and twenty dollars. Whoa! Yes. And then Xbox the next day they got so much. They were trending on Twitter. Like yeah, they, they were tripping, like bro. They got so much flack. The next day, they were like, "You know, we fucked up, so that's not gonna happen." <laughs> we're sorry. <laughs> so hey, that's bro, not gonna happen. Wild people will sell their Xboxes and go buy a PS4, bro. Literally, bro. Like, uh, and I guess the part of it was they wanted to kind of integrate their Game Pass with the Gold, and so, but like even then. Mm, I a lot okay, of money. okay no look this is what I could see if they had a uh Xbox uh live year pass and then a Xbox Live plus game pass year mm. pass you know what I mean I could see that being $120 I could yeah. see that that makes sense to me mm -hmm. but it, because I think it's $15 a month for Xbox when you get the uh game pass but I think that comes with Xbox Live Gold yeah. so Fifteen dollars a month times twelve. You know what I mean? That may it it ends up being that that seems reasonable. Yeah. But if they weren't, you know what I mean? If they didn't go in saying that, I can mm. see why people were. Yeah, like people were tripping. And I was like, 
Oh, That's a lot of money. And there was a lot of memes of all the PlayStation people making jokes about the Xbox and stuff. And I was like, yeah, like of course. But uh, bad move. My yeah. Bad move. Moving forward, though. <laughs> Chris Evans reportedly in talks for another role within the MCU. With that said, uh, he didn't know what people were talking about, but <laughs> he could have been lying. Could have yeah. been lying. So, what are your thoughts? I want what Captain Hydra. You want Captain Hydra? That's what I want. I want Captain Hydra. I think that would make sense. I want him to come back, mm-hmm. but I don't want it to be him. <laughs> yeah. I want it to be from another universe or something. Mm-hmm. Uh, and this, like, they need a Captain America, and then they bring a Captain America in, and he ends up being a freaking bad guy. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, that that seems like it would be the way to go, um, especially for a one-time thing. Yeah. And I could see this maybe in a couple years. This probably would be nowhere in this next phase, but I could see in yeah. the next phase after this one, you know, have him come back as Captain America, but he's Captain Hydra in this yeah. in this thing, and and we have him in a movie just going wild. I could see that or something. Like that. You know what? Uh, on Twitter, people were also talking about it would be cool for him to be in his movie, his own movie, where he just shows him return the stones. Yes, and like we see that process of what happens, confronting the Red Skull and maybe some other people that he. Come came across with the stones. Yeah, um, was, I think that'd be really fun. I think that'd be a really fun watch. Uh, do I see it as a big blockbuster movie? I think it's more of a Disney Plus movie. I don't know if it'd be like that big of a movie, but or a show. I don't know, but it is for one movie. Uh, I could see I could see a show like a yeah. uh, six episode mini series, and each episode is him returning one of the things and going on like a little. Yeah. That would be that would be cool. I, I'm not gonna lie. I, cool. think I would really be down for that. <laughs> That'd be really cool. Uh, but for a movie, I feel like they're gonna if maybe it is showing him expedite that process of him returning the stones, maybe. But I think Captain uh, Hydra is probably the way they're gonna be going. Um, Obviously, it's too early to kind of tell, but with seeing all these Hydra references, old man, that would be cool. What if I need old man cap? Yeah, the the MCU Joe Biden, maybe I don't know. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know if you guys saw that meme, (laughs) man. That was hilarious, yo. That was. He does look like Joe Biden, though. He He looks straight like like Joe Biden. I was like, you can't just say he doesn't. Like he does. Like. Old man Captain America, by the way. This is not Chris Evans, but um, that's pretty funny. Yeah, that's funny. But, uh, yeah, lots to look forward to. Uh, but again, I think it's too early to kind of tell. With that said, we are seeing a lot of Hydra references in WandaVision, so that could be the move. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of Hydra references, and it's pretty wild because all of a sudden I just, just choose to start watching Marvel's Agents of Sealed, and it's all <laughs> going on. I'm like, bro, this is wild. Yep. So I hope we. I hope I see. I hope I like see something that somehow connects to something in the show. That yeah. would be awesome. <laughs> That's kind of how it works. But um, moving right along to some more MCU news, my brother. This is um amazing mcu news if i do say so myself Mm -hmm. um it is a rumor though but black panther 2 is set to introduce dr doom as he starts a war between atlantis and wakanda i.e he starts a war between black panther and namor um that sounds awesome and i think it would be a really good thing okay i don't know how to it's not a good thing but i think it would be a good like movie concept because Wakanda is in this shift of power with yeah. you know, with uh T'Challa not being there anymore. Yeah, so it it makes sense. You know what I mean? For like like maybe Doctor Doom is like, hey bruh, look, Wakanda is open for business up there or something like that. You know, like yeah. bro, go get it. Um mm-hmm. what I'm hoping is we get Doctor Doom seated the way we had Thanos seated at the end of yeah. the stuff. Like maybe at the end of one we just see his throne and then we just see him go to it and sit down. Like yeah. I would like I would just shit bricks for that alone. You know what I mean? Just seeing his green cloak uh just yeah, that would be awesome. But mm-hmm. what do you what do you think about these this rumor, bro? Okay, so initially I was kind of like okay, that would be cool, obviously, but we all we also know that they're not trying to recast Black Panther. Mm-hmm. Their goal 
from what I understand, is to kind of delve into the different cultures and the uh, people within Wakanda. Like, that's what part two is going to be about. Mm. Um, but it might be like in that process, we'll see uh, Dr. Doom get involved, you know, um, where like, we, like they do figure out, okay, who's going to be like, who's the leader of Wakanda? And we kind of see that. Dr. Doom black. And he ends up being like a Wakandan. That would be pretty cool. And that would lead to his the explanation of his genius to be with the Fantastic Four as well. Like, I think that would be pretty dope. Like maybe he's like a Wakandan spy that works in the cities and he works with Reed Richards and all them. It's something, yeah, just something wild like that. That would be, I mean, it would make sense. Right? It's like, I know, like this is like a lot of uh, like a lot of the. This is a quote from like in history. I I can I'm probably gonna slaughter it, but it's like, uh, start a war with a nation that loses their cultures or whatever. Don't die, but if you start a civil war within a nation, that that nation's gone. Mm. You know, and so I think that's the kind of the same concept we're gonna be seeing is like someone from within Wakanda is gonna be the one to kind of start moving it towards the path towards destruction. Uh, it's kind and of I think that might within the first one with the dude yeah. with the rhinos turning yeah. on everybody. That's kind of what we yeah. saw. Yeah. And so I think it'd be pretty cool. Um, obviously, it's way too early. Uh, other than that, we don't have anything uh, that kind of... Yeah, and crazy. it is a rumor. So it probably might not, it might not be true. Um, so we'll have to see what happens moving forward. Yeah. But it sounds awesome. <laughs> Um, coming up though, Sony has officially announced that a Dusk project is in the works. Which, if you don't know, Dusk is a character within the Spider-Man world. Um, I think I think he's the hero. Um, he literally just looks like a shadow, but wearing a Spider-Man suit almost. But I'm not too sure what he is. So let's see if he's in this. In the book. Big Book of Marvel. Big Book of Marvel. Let's find out. I see. Nope. No? no I All right, let's see. Oh, wait. Yes, he is. I lied. Oh, okay. okay. First appearance, Slingers, number zero, December 1998. Okay. Real name, Cassie St. Commons. Occupation Adventure, based out of New York. Five foot six. Special powers receives powers from the negative zone that allows her to melt into shadows or to teleport, possesses minor psychic abilities. During a time when Spider-Man was accused of murder, he adopted four separate costumes and identities, including one called Dusk. Later, former World War II hero Black Marvel gave the costumes to four youths to create the Slingers. Cassie St. Commons, a moody Empire State University student from a rich family, became the new Dusk. Mm -hmm. After it seemed a fatal fall, she returned with the power of teleportation. The Slingers disbanded after saving Black Marvel's soul from Mephisto, um, and Dusk has since kept a low profile. Okay. So that was very much... I think, I think that makes sense. It's so crazy how everything ties into what's going on. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like all these all these rumors and stuff. So yeah, that sounds awesome. I really, really want uh Blue Marvel. That's one of the characters I want the most. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's an awesome okay. that's an awesome thing to be announced. Uh but like it's the by Sony though, so that might be yeah. Like, you know. So I'm kind of curious. I just I'm just curious to see what Sony has planned. Because uh, with that said, them and uh, the MCU, Marvel Studios, kind of have another agreement. Uh, they just agreed to another agreement not so long ago. So they've extended the previous one that kind of revamped the Star the Star Wars the Spider Man universe with uh, um, Tom Holland leaving the MCU for a little bit there. Uh, but then they figured it out. Then they figured out even more. So. Uh, what to expect? Will we see both worlds collide? We'll see. We'll, yeah, see. we'll see with Spider-Man 3. I think that's the one where we'll kind of tell. If we see Venom or Morbius kind of hints here and there that might be 
It's going to be huge. For real. That, that's the one right there. That's going to be the one to let us know what's going on for yep. sure. Um, but yeah, moving on to the final thing that we have tonight. WB has officially announced that a prequel for Willy Wonka titled Wonka is now in the works with Tom Holland and Timothy uh, Chal- Chalamat <laughs> being eyed for the main role. So how do you feel about that, man? I mean, I'm pretty excited. I like both actors. Uh, but again, obviously as a kid, uh, uh, Willy Wonka was always a f- cool, fun movie. Mm-hmm. But I wasn't like a huge fan of it. You know, it wasn't a movie that I was like, oh my gosh, it's Willy Wonka. Uh, Willy Wonka was awesome. You know, I loved Willy with Wonka. that said, uh, the new one was pretty cool. A little dark for me, honestly. It, it was a little dark. Uh just the tone was way darker than it was with the older one. Mm-hmm. Um, it was like made by Tim Burton. <laughs> yeah. Tim Burton. Which he's amazing. Wow. But I, I just would have, loved, would have liked to see something more colorful uh, considering it is Willy Wonka. But kind of excited to see this prequel. Like I'm, I'm curious because we don't know, or at least not as a huge fan. I don't know like where he came about. Obviously, we see a little bit of like his younger past in the newer Willy Wonka movie, but still, I think it'd be cool to explore where he comes from. Hmm. What about you? Yeah, man, I I think this is awesome. Mm-hmm. Uh, minus of Tom Holland being Wonka, but anything mm-hmm. other than that, uh, the other two looks dope. Uh, this was gonna be, I feel like we're gonna see. I don't know if this is gonna be like, yo, he's in the midst of making the chocolate factory you know what i mean kind of the backstory that we got from the tim burton one when he was going to all the different islands and trying to find the different cocoa beans and yeah all these different ingredients i that would be cool but if it comes to be something like that then i know i know this i know this for a fact they're gonna make wonka be like an indiana jones type movie and i don't want that you know what i mean i don't want that so i hope they don't go that way with it to where Wonka becomes like an adventurous type of dude to where he's freaking swinging across. I don't, I just don't want that personally, bro. I think that would be super lame uh, to see him. Like, I just think that would be lame, but we just don't see that type of Willy Wonka in the movies. Yeah, exactly. A little bit in the new one, but even then it's like, we just, like, we just can't associate. Like, like he's an adventurer, not a, whatever freaking indiana jones is because he's not an adventure he's like a yeah. where i'm trying to find the hidden secrets of the like crypt a, a food connoisseur per se yeah like i just want to see wonka trying to you know maybe he find this maybe this is where he gets the oompa loompas you know what i mean like the like the minions version of uh despicable me type thing you know what i mean how we had that that minions rewind to where it was yeah. all about the minions maybe it's something like that to where this is him going to the Oompa Loompas, getting good with them. Maybe he saved someone's life or something like that. And it's, it's you know what I mean? There's some, something yeah. crazy like that. And then the Oompa Loompas come back with them or something dope like that. I don't yeah. really have anything like that. With that said, it's WB. So I wouldn't be surprised you know they're they're in. to a huge adventure in the Indiana Jones movie. Uh, <laughs> that's that's why I said I know this is what's gonna happen if they go this way with it because yeah. like we know how WB is they're gonna they're gonna milk it not just for the sake of being a movie but they're gonna try yeah. to get it for every single thing that they can. And with that said, hopefully co- if COVID's still around, it might affect what they're gonna be doing with it because I don't think obviously with everything going on, I don't think many movies are making a whole lot of money. Compared to what they could be making if COVID wasn't around, um, obviously by the time that movie comes out, I hope to God COVID's done and over with. But because if it's still around, I'd be concerned. Um, but yeah. uh, I think uh, by that point, we'll have theaters up and running. Yeah, because yeah. I know a lot of stuff is like going for like 2022 is going to be the like 2022, 2023. It's going to be a huge year for movies. Yeah, uh, so. And then it's like, how are they going to do stuff? You know, like what's going to be really going on? Yeah. I still need to break down to how much money Netflix and all these streaming services get. (laughs) Somehow Soul was still like the number one movie, but I don't know how that works. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know how that works. So we got to find out like Mm -hmm. a, 
I'm gonna find a YouTube video for us to watch together. <laughs> yeah, kind of figure that, that out. Um, that breaks it down, so we have a better understanding of what's going on with these mm-hmm. movies. Because then we'll kind of get a better understanding of what's to come with movies in the near future. Yeah. Uh, such as like God, you know, like how we got that new Godzilla movie coming out, and mm-hmm. so on and so forth. So, yep. how will this really impact the movie scene going forward with all mm-hmm. these? Movies? That's something that we can look into. Maybe you guys can tune in for that video on the next one. But I yep. think that's all that we got for you guys today. Yep, that is it. Um, before we go, please make sure to make sure to follow us on all of our social medias at Marbos23 um, on our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and our YouTube channel. Don't forget, we also post there regularly. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, and also don't forget that we are streaming this right now live on our website as well, www.marvelbros.com. You can check this out. You can join our Discord. It's in the top right-hand corner of our website if you're going on your browser. Um, and yeah, man, join our Discord as well. The link is in the description of this video somewhere. So make sure you click that link, follow it, and join our Discord where we always have open discussions and talk about all things Marvel and everything pop culture. Thank oh, yeah. you guys for joining us on this episode of Marvel Bros and another pop culture news update. Yep. We'll see you next week. Catch you guys later. Excelsior. All of Marvel Bros. Pop Culture News Updates are now available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and Google Podcasts. You can also watch Marvel Bros. Live every Sunday on Facebook.com or you can watch them on YouTube where we upload regularly. Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Marvel Bros. 23 to keep up with all things Marvel and everything pop culture.